Welcome to another video. I know it's been a while, but we're here today at Blue Jacket Park in Orlando, Florida. I subscribed to this guy named the Wild Moose, shredded Russian guy. He does a lot of calisthenics, so he inspired me to come out here and start body weight training and hitting the reps. So, but just like any workout, you can't just go out there and, and just shoot blanks and hope for the best. So we have to have a program. So today's program, I structured it shoulders and arms where we have block one block two three exercises in each block and then we have block three which is going to be just some accessory two exercises to finish off the workout and it's going to be simple yet effective where anyone can do this exer these exercises and get the benefits that they want with minimalistic equipment too so i'm excited you so guys let's do this all right everyone so we start off with the warm-up here i usually like to take the time to get the blood flow going and the best way to do that for me personally i usually try headstands um, one to work on the neck stability the traps the shoulder stacking understanding and scanning the body in the hip pelvic area and also even lengthening the hamstrings as you go down again it's a little bit more advanced there's other variations that you can do but I definitely challenge you to at least hold it in a, a stack position. You don't have to get crazy with the movements, but that is definitely one of my first warm ups before I hit the park and touch the bars. Warm up number two, 2022. I'm trying to get more into gymnastics and flipping. So all we're doing is a forward roll, tucking ourselves in, utilizing that momentum to do a vertical jump. So watch here, we go, forward tuck, under control, explode, vertical right out. This one's good to get the blood flow going, knowing your body while it's rolling, right? Getting feedback as well. And also being able to stack the shoulders when you do the forward roll. So this is just another one, just for fun. And then we get on to the workout. All right guys, now it's time to party. We have the regress shoulder press. You can either find a wall or you don't need a wall at all, just your own body weight. Um, you're going to tuck the chin. You're going to walk your feet as far up as possible. The wall just helps you stack your shoulders over your wrists a little bit more, therefore loading the shoulders and the triceps depending on the angle. And you're gonna go full range of motion, try to touch the ground with your nose, um, push through, squeeze your fingertips. That is the key to this one too. You're gonna go for a rep range of 10, three sets of 10. And this is gonna be a block. After this one, you're going into the next exercise, which is this one. The second exercise to the three exercise block is the body weight lateral raise. I really like this one. It's just gonna take a lot of focus. You're going to find a wall or a pull, place your elbow or your forearm right on that object. You're going to step a foot away from that object. And all you're gonna do is eccentrically load the deltoid and then push through concentrically. Now, the angle of your shoulder will dictate whether you're hitting that medial delt, the front of the delt, even a little bit of the rear delt. So, mind some muscle and all you're gonna do is just eccentrically load and then concentrically push out, nice and controlled. Um, I shoot for 15 reps, 15 rep range is where I start to feel that the capsule of the deltoid um, start activating and really engaging and burning to get you the most results for this exercise. Exercise three of the three exercise blocks is the floor retractions. You're going to put your elbows right outside at 90 degrees and it's a short range shoulder retraction. You're gonna push the elbows into the ground, activating the rear delts. This exercise I love because you can do it at anywhere in the house or at the park and it's going to give you that fuller defined shoulder that we're looking for and pulling your posture back into alignment as well. We focus a lot of the anterior and the medials, but not the rears. So this is a great body weight exercise to do to give you that fuller look that you're looking for and better posture. Repeat all the way back to the first exercise for three rounds. 
All right, so now we're starting with the first exercise of the second block of three exercises. This is the planche lean-ins. You're gonna find a parallel bar, whether it's low or high, and all you're gonna do is lock out, loading the bicep tendons, and all you're gonna do is shift forward on the tippy toes, bring it back nice and controlled. You're going for 10 reps here. I really want you to load the biceps, the front of the delts core. Your ribs are tucked in. Eyes are up, and all you're gonna do is lean forward, squeeze the pinky so that you can activate the tricep. That is one of my favorite and biggest cues for when it comes to anything pressing or pulling is squeeze the pinkies. Don't neglect the muscles in the hands. And yeah, we're gonna move on to exercise number two now. Going into the Korean dips, one of my favorite shoulder exercises that are body weight. You're going to load the front shoulders, you're stacking the wrists, you're pushing through, extending the triceps at the top. You're even gonna feel your lower back activating as well. Now you can either choose to do this on a higher bar or you can choose to do this on the parallel bars as well if you aren't comfortable with the height. Now there's also a regression that you can do as well, which is over here on the bottom right. You can just have your feet on the floor and pushing off. So you have uh, variations of progressions and regressions. So 10 reps and we're moving on to the third exercise. All right, third exercise of our three exercise block on block two is the bodyweight bicep curl. It's almost like a concentrated curl. So what I'm doing here is I am stacking my wrists, not through the fingers, but through the palms. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot the elbows as high as I possibly can, slowly and eccentrically loading that bicep on the way down. Now here's the thing, you can use your legs to help you if you walk them out. And I love, love, love this one. This is one of my favorite body weight exercises to grow the bicep naturally. And again, you're gonna shoot for 10 reps Keep it under control, lengthening the tendons as well, okay? Three rounds of 10 reps. Start from the beginning after this exercise for block two and enjoy it. Then we go into block three, which is only two exercises, and you guys are gonna think that I am Peter Parker here because this is called the Spider-Man curl. I want your grip nice and close, and all you're gonna do is bring the knees all the way around your elbows, and you're going to eccentrically control your bicep on the way down. This is also going to work the rear delts, your rhomboids, your upper back muscles as well. You're gonna shoot for three rounds of 10, feel it out, really focus on those biceps the whole range of motion forward and eccentrically. Final exercise for block three is the alternating leg raises here. So you're gonna shoot for the right leg to go across to the left arm, vice versa, left to the right arm. And all you're gonna do is slowly but surely come down nice and controlled. This is gonna work your grip, your abs, that are gonna be your lower abdomen and your upper abdomen wall as well. And that completes block three. You're gonna do this one and the Spider-Man curls only for two rounds. And there you guys have it. That concludes our body weight shoulder slash arm workout. Hopefully you guys got some value out of this. Now, I did three rounds of each block. So exercise one, two, three. Did that over two more times, three more times for a total of three rounds each block. And that's it guys. Let comment down the bottom which exercise was the hardest or if you had difficult in any of them, let me know how we can improve that. Other than that, smash the thumbs up, subscribe, and till the next video, much love, peace.